Hello chemistry fans and welcome back to chemistry problem solving session here at the Academic Success Center on Broward College North Campus. I am your host Dr. Russell Betts and I'll be guiding you through this problem today. So let's take a quick look. So here we have some lipids. So we have four different types of lipids actually. They're all lipids. They all fall under the same category but they're not all the same. They're all different. As you can see structurally they all look different. So let's look at the first one. The first one is called a fatty acid. Now how did I know that? Well, it goes back to class of compounds first of all. If you memorized and studied your classes of compounds, you will have noticed this is a carboxylic acid. So that's where the word acid comes from. And this long chain of hydrocarbons here, this is an al uh, alkane or a hydrocarbon chain. This is the nonpolar side of the molecule or the fat part. This is the fatty part. So this is what makes it a fatty acid. Okay, now the next one. A lot more complicated, but look. Long chain of hydrocarbons. This has got three of them now, that's all. Three long chains of hydrocarbons. And notice esters. Esters. Long chain of hydrocarbons that are esters. And there's three of them. This is a triacyl glycerol. triacyl glycerol. Okay? Three esters and long chains of hydrocarbons. Three esters, three long chains of hydrocarbons, triacyl glycerol. Next, this is very typical 6665 ring system. This is a steroid. Steroid. Okay, whenever you see a six member ring attached to a six member ring attached to a six member ring attached to a five member ring, that is a steroid. It doesn't really matter what's attached to the rings. Uh, that will change the function of the steroid, uh, uh, certainly, but it does not change the fact that the class of lipids it belongs to are the steroid class. Okay, and the last one, this is a wax. How do I know it's a wax? You have an ester, only one ester though, and on both sides of the esters are long hydrocarbon chains. That is a wax. So let's go over them one more time from the top. This is a fatty acid. You have a carboxylic acid and a long chain of hydrocarbons. That's a fatty acid. Here we have three esters and three hydrocarbon chains. This is a triacyl glycerol. If you want to think of it some way, three esters, three hydrocarbon chains, three tri, T-R-I, triacyl glycerol. Six member ring, six member ring, six member ring, five member ring, steroid. An ester with two long chained hydrocarbons on either side, wax. Okay? Now, you'll have to commit those to memory. Uh, if you're in my class, I do require you to be able to identify them by sight. I will not expect you to be able to draw them. Okay? So, with that, I wish you good luck and good chemistry.